what's going on YouTubers, Odin Figuration here, back with a quick review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the entire Thor Ragnarok wave. Alright, so I decided to just um, review the wave as a whole rather than individually because I didn't get them first or anything like that. Um, I thought I'd just... I've had the wave open and I built the Hulk one by one so I thought I'd just open it up and do an entire wave um, rather than singles. Alright, so let's go with the least favorite. My least favorite is Loki. <laughs> um, my cape's all messed up on that one. Um, a lot of people have been doing the mod where they just take the head off and put it on the Doctor Strange body or um, Mordor body. I think it looks a lot better, so I'm probably going to be doing the same thing. Um, he comes with a crown, which I have lying around somewhere. Uh, but not too impressed with this figure, just because of the articulation. Um, I think they did a good job with the head and everything, but the arms are kind of weak. His hands I can't do anything with. Um, yeah, it's kind of going to be a scrap figure for me. Second, we got the, the other movie Thor, which is pretty cool. He comes with his cape. That plugs into the side right there and to his shoulder up there. He comes with the two blue swords from the movie. He has that cool little armor plate, the helmet, the, uh, the paint on his face. And then the red paint continues alongside his side right here. And then also on the blue shin guard right here. Which I think is pretty cool. I really like that red um, calligraphy, I guess you would call it. Um, as far as this figure goes, I'm actually, I actually like this figure. Um... A lot of people say they don't like movie figures, and again, I'd much rather have comic figures over movie figures, but I also like having movie figures. You know, we all go to the theaters and see the, watch the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so. <clears throat> so yeah, on um, Unworthy Thor, I'm sculpting hair on him right now. Uh, I like the way the front came out, but I still have to go and do the sides and the back of his hair. And then I'm also gonna sculpt um, a beard on him, uh, cause that's how he looks in the current Unworthy issues. And then I also put this little ring on his side right there. I just had the extra clay, so I put it on there. Um, so as far as the figure goes, I actually do like this figure. Um, he's bulky and looks tough, which Thor should be. I'm not sure if it's a new mold. I, I actually do think that the chest and abdomen part is a new mold. So if you know, please comment and let me know. Um, I also really like the way that the belt goes around him. And I like his boots. Those are pretty cool. So, I, I, I actually do like this Thor, except for the head. Next up... Next up, we'll take a look at Hela, the movie version. Um, I am really happy with this figure. Um, when I heard that she was going to be released in this wave, I had sold my STCC version. Um, which, I'm not even that... It's cool. So, for this version, um, I do like the way she looks and everything like that. The movie hasn't came out yet, so we don't know uh, the exact look of her or anything like that, but I am happy with the way she looks. Her articulation is great. She stands easily. The horns look pretty menacing. Um, my only thing was that the cape came a little bent right here, which isn't a big deal. Um, kind of has some paint blemishes around her shoulder, so that didn't come out too clean. But as far as the figure goes, she's really cool. Um, she is a movie figure. I do think she works for comics because she changes her costume quite often. But for the most part, she's usually naked in the comics. Um, I do believe in the comics, at least, she's Loki's daughter. Um, I don't know how they're going to play it off in the movie, but in the comics, she was Loki's daughter. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any shots with this, maybe after I see the movie, but also a really cool figure. So... I like it. And moving on to Jane Foster. Uh, I'm a big fan of this figure. I like the way the helmet came out. I like the gold symbol on her forehead. I like the way that her hair flared out. Cape looks good. I wish it was a soft plastic, or not a soft plastic, but fabric rather than soft plastic. But I'm happy we got a cape anyways. Um, her chest piece came out really cool. I like the symbol right there in the middle. I like her armor piece on her left arm. I like the way her belt drapes down and everything like that. I like her boots, the boot wraps. The color came out really good, and then I like the way that the ankle guards kind of have wings on it. And then the boots came out silver. 
I do wish I got the STCC version that came with the lightning effects hammer, but this is cool too. Uh, which I, I probably will get that Asgard set later on. So down to the final two, which are my favorite. Uh, this guy, Ares, which is a, um, which is just a, re a repaint and re-release of the original, uh, what wave was that? Oh, it was an Ares wave. Um, I think Black Suit Spider-Man came in there. Um, Kang, I forget. But it was a really hard figure to get, and he's pretty simple to get now. But, uh, the articulation on him is alright. It's not the best, you know? Um, the T-joint and everything like that kind of sucks. But it's a great figure to have. I'm happy with it. I'm happy to finally have it. The helmet comes off. That's really cool. All his weapons are really badass. Uh, the symbol looks a lot better than the original one. And I think the only difference is the pants. That's really the only repaint. Um, but a really cool figure. And I am very happy about it. If these are from the Odin wave, can you let me know? Because I'm not too sure about that. Alright, so last, but definitely not least, is the Build-A-Figure Hulk. Um, I was very excited to get this guy. Um, I pretty much wanted the whole wave just so I could finish building this. Um, even though it's a movie figure, I'm excited to have him because it's a Gladiator Hulk. It just looks freaking badass. Um, I really like all the armor on his shoulder, on his, fore on his uh, biceps, and his uh, forearms. Plus on his uh, hands, too. That's really cool. Um, I like the way the strap goes around his chest. I like the, uh, the guard he has on. I like the undershorts. I like the sandals, everything there. Um, I really like um, the fact that the helmet comes on and off. And it's on like a really soft plastic. And the uh, hair came out really good on that. He also came with these two weapons. Uh, the hammer. Which I really want to paint these. I don't know what kind of color that is. But I'm going to paint these. Definitely. Here's the axe that it came with. Really cool axe. Um, I'm probably gonna give him the Mythic Legion weapons though, so that'll look a lot cooler. Um, but I am a big fan of this figure. I really like the paint, just like the Thor. Uh, he has the paint on the right side of his face, his right shoulder, through his chest, down through the armor, into his, uh, his abs. And then again on his shoulder, his bicep, and then he has armor on his forearm and his hand again. Uh, the articulation is pretty good on him, um, pretty pretty much like the Juggernaut, pretty much the same size and everything, but I'm happy with this figure, I'm really happy to complete the wave and have this Hulk, and the Ares, most of all, so, I uh, hope you guys liked this quick review, uh, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, um, I'm trying my best to get some more reviews out there, um, I pretty much am up to date with Marvel Legends except for the Phoenix 2-pack and the Star-Lord 2-pack, but I don't even think I want that. So that's really all I'm looking for with Marvel Legends. But uh, alright guys, I'll catch you next time. Stay tuned, subscribe, leave a comment.